Hi and welcome to a math tutorial on transformation matrices. Well, today we're just going to work with one, and it's this particular matrix. So we're going to show you that by applying this matrix to a matrix that is filled with points from a Cartesian plane, we can transform its movement. So we're going to start off with the point 6, 2, and that's its points. So 6 is the x-coordinate, 2 is the y-coordinate. x always goes in the first, y always goes in the second. So we're going to start with the points 6, 2 and put them in a bigger matrix. So we've got 6, 2, 3, 1, x and y. So now we're going to transform this movement by using this matrix. Transform means move. So to make it move, to manipulate the graph movement, you have to pre-multiply this matrix by the points matrix. So the top row affects the top row of the matrix and the bottom row affects the bottom row. So we're just going to use more space to explain this math. So you've got to multiply the first row by the first column to get your answers, and then the first row by the second column to get your answers. This is then going to give you two answers which you add. So as you can see here, 0. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. 0 times 1 is 0. 0 times 6 is 0. 1 times 2 is negative 2. 0 times 3 is 0. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. So then you just got to add these together to get your transformed matrix. So Negative 6 plus 0 is negative 6, negative 3 plus 0 is negative 3, and that's basically how you work out matrices math. So now we're just going to write in the points, and now we're going to show you on this graph how it's moved. So this is its transformed points, and as you can see here, you can't really see it, it looks like it's been completely flipped. Alright, so now we're just going to show you, do it again, but with more points to show you even more movement. So you've got 3, 1, 4, 5, 5, 7. So here's the graph. Now it's not a very neat graph, but it's going to show you the movement that is basically happening. What movement is happening when you apply this transformation matrix to points? So here's the original line. Now as we expect, it's going to flip over, but what is this movement actually doing? So applying the math, so negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, exactly the same result with the other matrix. So now this is its transformed point. So this is the movement that's happened. And as you can see, it's pretty interesting. So it's happened for the other one and it's happened for this one. So this is the movement that's going. And what is it called? It's called reflection. It reflects the original matrix points and this is what it gives it. It's an opposite mirror. As you can see here, that it crosses both the x and y axis, so the x and then the y, and then it also moves two quadrants. So this is what will happen when you apply this transformation matrix to graph points. It's a way to manipulate graphs around a Cartesian plane. So now we're going to use an algebra two algebraic examples to prove that no matter what points are in that other matrix, it'll always turn out as negative y negative x or negative points. So this is your original matrix, the x and y, and the t represents the transformation. Now we're going to use x and y in these little upstrokes and it means it's in transformation, it's in movement. So we've picked our particular matrix, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1, and then the original one. So using our matrix math, it will always turn out as negative x, negative y. Now we're going to use another one, so you've got our particular matrix again, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1. Then we're going to use A, B, C, D, representing any point. Apply our math and you always get negative A, negative B, negative C, negative D. And this is how you manipulate graphs around a Cartesian plane using this transformation matrix. So, yay! 